Yay! Two videos in the same day. I'm on fire today. Um, I thought that since I was, you know, I had the camera out and everything, I was going to update you also on my little um, tiny travel art kit. This thing is more than functional. I absolutely adore it. It's been working really great for me for um, the past, how long? T two months? three months, I don't even know how long, and uh, so I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna show you what's different, so uh, I still have um, the ink things, blocks, I have to stop using these things because I don't, I, I just cannot learn how to pronounce that, so I'm, get, I'm being ridiculous on a regular basis, well, I'm getting used to that actually, okay, so these are the ink Dense blocks uh, that are so water soluble, ink that gets permanent once it's dry. So I'm using this sometimes for backgrounds if I want to be able to layer other stuff on top without um, the colors moving. And um, for I also still have the um, the Peerless palette here. Where is it? Here, the little pearlescent watercolors. I'm not gonna open this. Uh, I've seen this in a previous video, and what I have added is these um, um, uh, watercolors. They're from Cendrillon. They're absolutely amazing. They're uh, made with honey. Uh, the colors are, um, they're very pigmented. The colors are really, uh, really bright and strong. Um, this originally came in... Um, Altoid size tin uh, from Sennelier, you know the white one with uh, with a little window on top that you may find on Amazon or eBay, and um, but I I still thought that box was a little bit too big. I didn't need it. There was a lot of unnecessary uh, packaging involved, so I wanted to downsize even further, and I found this really really fun box on um, Amazon. So I, um, I thought it was really convenient and I managed to squeeze all of them inside because these are half pans. <clears throat> the actual watercolor is the half pan but it did not come in the rigid half uh, plastic half pans. It came in um, flimsy plastic ones which were easy to cut down and uh, to squeeze inside. And in here I just have a um, half pan of Winsor & Newton Artist Great White Watercolor which is probably more like gouache because it's quite opaque and um, I couldn't squeeze the, the uh, I couldn't fit the, the half pan in so I actually took the the paint out of the half pan and it's a little bit mushy sort of it's a little bit pliable so I was able to just you know force it in so that works absolutely great the only complaint is with this palette the colors are not really super great for um, mixing. They, they get, they're muddy, they're not really, uh, they're not really, I didn't know the uh, official term for that. <laughs> then They're not made to work together well. Um, so uh, I will show you on one of the pages I actually tried to mixing them and I, I thought they were muddy when I did it but actually it kind of gives some very interesting uh, of muted tones so it's 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 really nice so I still have like collage materials uh, stamped images for coloring uh, washies etc and uh, ooh, I, I really have to change hands oh, sorry okay and um, I filled it up a little bit more recently I use it wherever I go even including my house when I'm stuck somewhere like if I have to watch the food on the stove and I don't want to go to another part of the house but still I you know you know what I mean anytime I have uh, some time to kill it's it's a really great way to do so um, I'm lately like in the past at least six months I'm not really being on drawing unfortunately I think I'm um, at a stage where I really have to learn more technique because I'm fed up of doing over and over like eyes and uh, female faces seen from the front because it's the only things I know how to draw and I'm really um, 
I don't know if I'm just being lazy and procrastinating or if I'm scared by the whole thing. So I'm not really sitting down to learn the technique. And when I feel like doing something like artistic, it's basically just taking out my colored pencils or my watercolors and just just playing around with it. I do a lot of colored circles. <laughs> <laughs> which makes me wonder if I'm completely crazy or what. So here's the page where I mixed all those colors and they kind of made interesting. I kind of like them and I would not be able to reproduce them. <laughs> I just kept adding to the same little pool on the on the lid inside. So what else do I have in here? Just quickly see I do this kind of stuff like wow. What I'm doing here is um, because this paper is not really made for watercolor and it starts, um, it doesn't buckle, but it starts, you know, you start losing tiny little uh, specks of paper on the surface. So I don't know how to say that in English or in any other language, if I'm completely honest. So, um, but once it's dry and you like brush those little things off, it kind of gives this interesting effect of colors a little bit merging into each other. I don't know how to say that, but it's, it's I'm having fun with that. And here was the actual first attempt to um, to draw a profile, uh, somebody from pro seen from profile without any reference. And this one is uh, more of a success, but it's also very tiny compared to my hand, so it's kind of maybe a little bit cheating. I don't know. I'm on some sort of alien kick forever probably so people have like weird faces oh yeah see see ta-da alien again maybe because I'm an alien okay I don't know if there's anything else oh yeah this one um, if you're not familiar with Sarah what's that Anderson uh, she's an artist who's doing a web comic on uh, well, on the web you have to check her out she is really 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 amazing and I absolutely adore her comic and this is in reference to um, one of her pages if I manage to find it again I'm gonna link it in the um, description box please check her out she's awesome what else is there anything else I don't think there's oh yeah this okay so you get the idea I take this, I slap colors inside, I'm having fun, but it's not really showable. <laughs> so take care, bye bye, and thanks for watching of course.